In this section, we are going to be taking a look at how to find services on alternate ports and identify them, which is something that's going to be important. This is going to go up and above what Nmap does, but we're still going to involve Nmap in some of the stuff we do. What we're going to learn in this particular section is we're going to learn how to gather information about services running on those alternate ports, and to do that, we're going to use Nmap to choose a target. Uh, then we're going to use a map to identify a service on that target. Then we will take a deeper look at interpreting output of the command. And then we will discuss how to save output from a map for later use. So in our video, we're going to take a look at is how to choose a target with nmap and how to determine if that target is a viable target. So what we're going to learn in this specific video is we are going to take a look at how to apply nmap to find a target in this case, discover you know just how specifically we can use it and the different syntax we can use to determine that we do have a target. We're going to look at the syntax for the scan that we might use to help us, and there's many options as we've already seen with nmap. So we're going to see what options are good options to use for performing the scan. Then we're going to look at the results with an eye towards determining if we have something that may require the services of AMAP to be brought in. And then we'll talk about the next steps along the way in our demo to see how we can use the information to move forward into a following step to use NMAP or AMAP. In this demo, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at two utilities, actually, just to get the ball rolling. Uh, what we're First of all, we're going to take a look at uh, Nmap. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up a standard Nmap window. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run Nmap. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do a standard uh, scan on this without any switches. So. And the purpose of doing this here is this is something we've done before, but let's just say for sake of argument, you're running a scan like this, and it's you know, doing its thing, and you're, you're scanning an IP address like you have here, and it brings back the results. Now, the results here are pretty standard, you know, but let's just say that we were scanning this list of ports that were returned to us, and we're looking through it, and we saw some port that wasn't a normal port, you know, so it was something that we didn't expect to see and we can't get information on it. Okay, you've got several ways to approach that. Okay, you could do things like banner grabs, you could do you know, different types of scans to get information out of it, but there's also another way. You know, let's just say someone took port 80 HTTP in this case and put it on like port 79 or port you know 104 or something just where you wouldn't expect to see it running okay so if we did a scan and we couldn't identify immediately what that is and nmap sometimes may not be able to usually it's pretty good but do we have other tools that might be specialized to do and the answer is yes we do you know so here I could do different types of scans, you know, quite easily with Nmap, you know, so I can do a half open scan and see what that gets me. And so it does its own little thing and it returns to me its own results, which should in this case be similar because it's going against a system, the same system in both cases. And there's nothing fancy going on here. It's just to show, okay, here's just to revisit the topic. We do have a target that we need to do an examination of and here's the ports it returned but let's just say that there was a non-standard port on there something that didn't fit the norm okay well we've run the scan so now we need to figure out a way to do that and so uh, what we would do at this point is I would say you know for example down there at the bottom I see port 8180 that is a port that says unknown on it is there a way I can get results off that well nmap's telling he doesn't know so there's got to be another way so that's uh, just kind of to, in this first demo, to paint a picture of what we are, of what we're facing. You know, when we have a non-standard port, we gotta have to figure out a way to fingerprint that and see if it's something that might be vulnerable. So in this video, we discussed how to locate a target and specifically applied Nmap to do that. 
we looked at some of the options that may actually be a good way to locate a target and identify if it's actually a viable target for using a map so we interpret the results and then we discussed you know how you could actually take that information forward or what might indicate you need to take information forward to the interpretation process with uh, a map